Oh, hey guys. Welcome to our first ever episode of, what are we gonna call this? Barefoot Dorothea? Like Barefoot Contessa? Look, we are barefoot, both of us. I'm kind of doing this as a joke. I don't even know if I'm gonna make another one of these. You guys let me know. Uh, I'm not a cook. I don't like to cook. It's not my forte. I think I cook decently when I do cook, which is very rare because I don't like to cook for one person. And now we are two people, but he's not really eating the same things I'm eating yet. If I do cook for other people, they don't generally love what I make because most of the people I hang out with are Latinos and most Latinos eat rice. I'm not trying to be racist at all. It's just a fact. And I don't like to cook rice. I like to cook pasta. I am a carbs girl myself, but of the pasta variety. Today though, it is piping hot in this kitchen. By the way, welcome, that's the whole kitchen. We are boiling a bunch of vegetables to make a soup. I had no idea until very recently, I'm almost 29 years old and I just figured this out, that soup is probably one of the most easy things to make. It's also probably one of the least hard to up. So there you go. All you got to do is combine all the veggies that you have that are about to go bad in your fridge, throw in a bunch of salt, oil, and garlic, boil them up, put them in the blender, and there you go. You got a creamy, delicious soup. And you can control the salt, you can control the spice, you can control the whatever you want. So what I did just now is put a bunch of veggies into a piping hot pot of water, and they're doing their magic, and it's just gonna cook itself, and I can just sit back and relax. P.S. Can you tell I've been watching a a lot of beauty people lately on YouTube. And yes, I'm aware that I'm not wearing any lipstick. I will put it on last thing. I just can't avoid giving this boy kisses and I don't want to make his face all red. I just turned off the heat. I'm gonna wait for these veggies to cool. You can see they're pretty steamy. Gonna be pretty easy to blend. Big, big, big chunks of carrot, pumpkin, potato, onions, garlic, and a bunch of spices that I like. Move over, Chef Boyardee. You are a thing of the past. Pretending like Chef Boyardee even exists here. Ha ha ha, ha ha. Jokingly, but it's also very truthful that I just don't have the experience of someone who knows how to cook because when I moved out of the house at age 18, I was a hot pockets girl. I was microwaving all of my food. I was making ramen with an egg in it. I was, yeah, peanut butter jelly, cereal, all the way. When I started going to hair school is when I discovered vegetarianism, eventually veganism, and very quickly after that, it evolved to raw veganism. I was raw vegan for four years, which basically means you're only eating fruits and veg in their raw state. So I know how to make a mean salad. I can confidently say that. My salads are bomb. But when it comes to actually turning up heat and cooking things. I just, uh, I'm shooting in the dark. I'm not very experienced. I'm 29 years old, but it's only been a few years since I've really had to do it for myself because even before when I was living in Brazil, living on my own, traveling, I always had someone else there to help me, to cook for me, to share the load. I just reaped those benefits and now that I'm by myself, I'm like, okay, well, the days of salgados and acai are not gone, but can't live off that anymore. I need to make food at home. And that's what I guess being a mom entails at least part of the time, unfortunately. Not my favorite part of the job. Laundry used to be my least favorite chore. Now it's cooking. This has absolutely nothing to do with cooking, but this somehow feels like a milestone and I just want to acknowledge it with Max. He just went from a sitting to a kneeling to a standing right here on the side of the couch all by himself. I've placed him standing up against still objects before and I've like kind of walked with him a little bit using his hands but that's a first that is a first baby <laughs> barefoot Dorothea is in the house I got these hot pads that my mother so lovingly wove for me woven woved wove wove we got the pot we got the veggies they are ready to blend still hot but much cooler than what they were. I have this little cheap $15 blender. I got it, Lojas Americanas. What would you compare it to in the US? Kind of like Walmart, but much, much, much smaller and not as much stuff. <laughs> not sure how well you can see. Ooh, there goes most of the broth. I'm gonna scoop in these mushy veggies. I didn't time how long I cooked them for. I just cooked them until they were mush. This is round one. I'm gonna go twice because there's just so much to blend. I don't want it to explode. Putting the cap on, securing it. Here we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Ooh, there we go. So professional. <laughs> steaming up the lens. I usually don't have two pots, but one of them is on loan from a neighbor, so I will conveniently be able to transfer half of this delicious looking bisque. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's 
I like this because it really makes me think I can do this. I can't. It's affirmations. I can cook. Look how much that yielded. That was like half a huge pot full. So accurate on my measurements. Taste test, really good, oh my gosh. Yes, all of this delicious soup is for me. If I hadn't added salt, then it would also be max approved, but he already has basically the same soup pre-frozen in little containers ready for him whenever he likes. I'm basically eating baby food, that's what this is. All right, Max, I gotta eat. Are you gonna let me eat? Are you gonna cry? Please don't cry. Hi. Uh. Hi. Uh. Hi. Uh. Here's the finished product. Look at this. I've topped it off with some broccoli, some avocado, sprinkling of salt, and cheese. Everything's better with cheese. Yeah, I'm not vegan anymore, if you can't guess, or raw, but I am happy, so that's good. I'm really excited to dive into this soup. The cheese is special. It's its own cheese that comes from the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil, which is a landlocked state, and it's famous for its cheese. Unless you're in Brazil, you just don't have access to it, but put whatever cheese you want on it, or don't, whatever. It's a veggie-based soup. You can make it vegan, you can make it meat-friendly, you can make it whatever you want. That's the joy of cooking with Barefoot Dorothea. Final step is to try this mess, to make a call if it's good or not. It's a little bit picante, but that's how I like it. No complaints. Oh my gosh, that cheese is really good. I'm sorry. For everyone watching who's not in Brazil, <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> okay, excuse me. I'm gonna go eat the rest of this. Ciao. See you guys later. Hope you liked it. Let me know if you did. I'll see you next time.